I talk for the press. Well, my people, me here for drop the real news, you know, news reviews, everything in a one right this or right there, my people. So all I want to know to do is like up the video, share out the video, subscribe to my channel, my people. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Let's get right into it. A corrupt government cannot liberate the people. If the head of the stream is corrupt, the entire river will be also. A blessed, a blessed good day to you, my wisdom warriors. Wagwan, wagwan. I hope you guys are in good spirit. Well, an ex soldier suspected of being involved in several crimes linked to an inter gang conflict in the community of Waterhouse in St. Andrew has been arrested and charged by the police. The army has confirmed his name and the charges have not been disclosed. So when I hear that, my wisdom warriors, ex soldier charged over alleged involvement in gang activities. There were 25 murders to start the month of December as the wanton killings and bloodshed continue across Jamaica. The Jamaica Constabulary Force reports that as at December 7, the murder toll stood at 1,085, which is 234 fewer or an 18% drop here and here included in last week murder statistic was the caught and tape brutal slaying of a policeman at a gas station Friday night. So basically my wisdom warriors, they must say there's 25 homicides to start in a December, but murders gone down 18%. You know what? You know what? You know only can fool labor rights, but you can't fool the Jamaican people. You only can fool labor rights. But not the Jamaican people. When I hear them something, mm -hmm. my wisdom warriors. Eh? When I hear them something, why Horace Chan, Kevin Blake, what you do? Why you not allow all this foolishness to come out? Why you not tell lie? Just because you don't want to look good on the international platform. Why you not do that? Mighty God, me tired of you, man. You don't want to lie and wicked. You don't want to lie. And guess what now, my wisdom warriors? The labor writers stand with this, you know? The labor right, they must stand with it. And them same one know them living in the rural area and they know what going on. Them know what is going on. Boy, this is terrible. Where will country come to? Where will country really come to? The country where everybody used to look up to. The country turn poppy show country. My box cover. Breaking news, breaking news, my wisdom warriors. On the nose said the Juno doctor them dep on strike right now. Mm -hmm. Today, today, today. Island wide. If you're going to the hospital them right now, no doctor now say nobody. At first this ever happening in a history. First this ever happening in a history. Island wide, my wisdom warriors, the doctor them dep on strike. Hmm? The doctor then calling sick. <laughs> Hey, some of the doctors them don't want to go on strike. They ain't calling sick. Hey, Lord Jesus. Me I tell you no. Hmm? And uno say and your oldness are run the country good. Uno say and your oldness are run the country good. And Christopher Tufton will come at the come in conference other day. Come and hype up. Christopher Tufton. You must resign, you know. A long time you for resign, you know. From the 19 baby dead, you know. From the then time that you feel left, you know, brother. And you're still dead. What you there you do? You just a waste time. You're a time waster, brother. And you want need to get rid of you and then get rid of himself. What the hell are galang? My wisdom warriors, since as them not get rid of them one another, you know, say we, the Jamaican people, have to make a stand. You don't know that? My box cover. Well, TVJ put this out and say, health services across the island have been severely disrupted as junior doctors stage a massive court forcing the ministry of health and wellness to implement emergency protocols when you hear that <laughs> outpatient services elective surgeries and primary care operations have been scaled back or suspended although emergency rooms remain operational Doctor turnout has been alarmingly low, with only 16% attendance reported in the Western Regional Health Authority and 28% in the Northeast Kingston and St. Andrew recorded 18% turnout, while some facilities reported a 100% absence of junior doctors. 
And first this ever happened in a history. Them cuss and then talk about 18 years, about PNP 18 years. My God. And you want this must go. Even the doctor them know say Andrew for resign. Even the doctor them know say Christopher Tufton for resign. What are we doing, Jamaica? What are we really doing? We still a play a game? We still a play a game we are play? Our silent night. My box cover. Hmm? Just imagine. Just imagine right now because a whole heap of emergency, you know. A whole heap of emergency cannot go on right now, you know. Just imagine people. No, so I don't even want to imagine it. I don't even want to imagine it. I don't even want to imagine it. Throughout the whole island of Jamaica, the doctor they pan strike. The doctor then calling sick just because. Of Christopher Tufton and Andrew Oldness, dishonesty. Hmm? Remember, say from what day me I read it up, you know. Oh, no, no, remember. Remember, me read it out, you know. Other day, you know, my wisdom warriors. About a week ago, you know, the doctor, them, uh, uh, I said, them did I give Andrew Oldness them chance. Remember, you know, I'm over here cussing, you know, and I beat up my tongue, you know. Oh, no, no, remember. Oh, no, no, remember, so I'm over here beat up my tongue and say, why them a give the government chance and Andrew Oldness they don't give nobody no bly? Hey, hey. You know what? I can't blame the doctors them. I cannot blame them because if you don't treat the doctors them good, how them going to treat the patient them good? Jesus mercy. And if, listen, and guess what? The nurses they cannot work without the doctor. The nurses they cannot work without the doctors. Why? It rough, you know? It rough. You know, see how the doctor them the pan strike. And now we you go out, they go protest. Yes. This is the best time, you know. This is the best time, Jamaica. Why you know not read between the lines of blows and skirt? This a mania make with doctor them in the hospital. Give up. Andrew Wallness, Christopher Tufton, cause all of this. This never happened in a history. You know, say. A sign, this is a sign, my wisdom warriors, a time for them go. Full time for them go. Full time. Number one, Christopher Tufton is not a doctor. Him no know nothing about doctoring. Him no know nothing. Nothing he no know about doctoring. So how come this man is helping me? This is a beer arms house, no man. A peer arms house I go on a Jamaica, you know. Me not understand this. Me really not understand this. But, as me always say, and we have to know, you know, Jamaica. And we have to know where we want. Because it seems like nobody na make no move. Nobody na do nothing. Hmm? Nobody na do nothing. So now the doctor them. Doctor them means that they na work. Remember, say we health come first, you know. Health come first before wealth. So if it doctor them na work, what, what do you think is going to happen? <laughs> I don't talk. Breaking news, breaking news, my wisdom warriors. The British High Commission is reporting that it has signed a 19.5 million agreement with National Integrity Action, NIA, to support an anti-bribery campaign in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. I want to hear that. I want to know, so the director of the NIA is Daniel Archer, don't it? Right. Let me tell you no something, Jamaica. <laughs> me tell you no say foreign people are watch what go on. Don't it? Cause look, the British High Commission, the British High Commission is reporting that it has signed a 19.5 million agreement with NIA, the director Daniel Archer, to support anti-bribery campaign in a Jamaica. The United Kingdom is providing the funds to the NIA to help raise public awareness about the need for anti-bribery legislation that promotes integrity in the public and private sectors. So, England, see what is going on with Andrew Holness. Thank you, Lord. They see and they know. They know that this privy councilman, <laughs> this prime minister is a blasted thief. Them know that. And rem wanna remember how um when name Everal Warmington get up uh, and talk about how he now give integrity commission no more money. Who remember that? 
Who remember, who remember my wisdom warriors? When Everal Warmington stand up in a parliament and say, how oh, I see now get no more money. No more money until they audit this and audit that. Well, be, a be. Everal Warmington, I wonder how you feel, you know. Me wonder how you feel. My wisdom warriors, when I see this in the article, me feel good. Because the way how I see Andrew Owens a fight and he knows he's a blasted thief. I don't know where I fight for. Really and truly. But he just a fight for save himself. That's all. That's all. But anyway, let me get back to this. So the United Kingdom is providing the funds to the NIA to help raise public awareness about the need for anti-bribery legislation that promotes integrity in the public and private sectors. The signing is at a key timing as the world observes mm -hmm. International Anti-Corruption Day on Monday, December the 9th, the High Commission said in a news release. So wait there. Want to see that now? Eh? You see you see how God work? Want to see how God work? Everal Warmington get up in a, in a, in a parliament and talk about how they not give IC no more money. Mm -hmm. In my request for the government not give IC no more money. Who oh, remember? <laughs> if you don't remember, right, remember. But you don't see how God work? You don't see? The British High Commission, you know, England, no say, I see, and the NI, them, them do a very good job. This is why them give them this, you know. This is why them give them this. Because they insist them do a wonderful job. Hmm? A wonderful job. I own a labor right now. Go, hey, listen. I say, I don't mind on your oneness case, God Privy Council. I say, I don't mind a Privy Council in reach. You don't take a joke? I say, I don't want to go Privy Council. Hey, remember, so them the people, they no not pet and powder nobody, you know. Them the people, they no not pet and powder nobody. Them the people, they keep secret for people. Them they keep secret. When I see that England, I give NIA money to help with, with anti-corruption, I feel good. I feel good. So they see what is going on. Them see what is going on. Andrew, you're not shame. Are you shame treated? You're not shame. Lord, you bring down this grace upon Jamaica. You just have bring down Jamaica so. You just have sink with so. Brother, just go on, man. You're your woman. You're your land thief. Go on. <laughs> my wisdom warriors. My body has hurt me three sides and 14 corners. Hey. I feel good, so I have to laugh and talk about my body. Seriously, I have to laugh. Because when them get me vexing, man, I can't laugh. Mm -mm, I can't laugh. I'm happy. I'm happy. Hey, 19 million enough money they get, you know? Yes, man, a whole heap of money they get. So, so Everal Warmington, yeah, and you owners can stay with the taxpayer money. Because remember, say, you know, did see a phone of money, you know? Remember, you, Everal Warmington, come out and say, I fear money. You understand? So you can stay with that. So now NIA get money for help. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. More investigation underneath on the backside. And don't forget, you know. Don't forget. Remember, so them get. Remember, so them get report, you know. So tomorrow they're supposed to talk about that and call out the name them tomorrow in a OSA parliament. Don't think we forget about the, the 70th. Remember, so Andrew Wallace is the one, you know. I remember seven remaining. So, tomorrow will be the big day because tomorrow, Tuesday, I don't know if the parliament open tomorrow, don't it? Mm -hmm. So, we so we not forget. Not because we don't see, we don't see we're quiet. We not forget. So, we don't make, you, Juliet, always, you make sure so you reach bright and early. You make sure so you reach bright and early and call out the labor right them, the thief in labor right them, want to have in a parliament. I can't wait to hear the name of them tomorrow, my wisdom warriors. I can't wait. Anyway, hear more. According to the High Commission, NIA through this campaign will advocate anti-bribery legislation, promote integrity, and bolster public support for Jamaica's broader anti-corruption framework. Wanna hear that? The campaign will also seek to lay the groundwork for more extensive anti-corruption work and governance research across the Caribbean. And at this, Andrew Owens did want the court for strike out. For strike out. You know, can't imagine the IC. I try to catch a thief them. And Andrew Owens go 
in, go in a courthouse and want the judge to struck down I see. Eh? Mighty God of Daniel. And you wicked you now, Mr. glad when the judge reject it. Reject it backside. Out of order. You know, say, and you only want a wicked man. And you only want the judge to break the constitution. And you only did want the judge, the court, the Supreme Court, break the constitution. What them couldn't do that? Because if they did ever do that, a straight up privy council, I don't know how it was ready. Seriously. Why, my wisdom warriors? Jano. The British High Commission say efforts to increase awareness and empower Jamaicans to strive for accountability and integrity in all sectors. British High Commissioner to Jamaica, Judith Slater, said at the signing last Friday. Wanna hear that? Wanna hear that? So them know said there is no accountability and no integrity. Them know that. This is why you see them are invest. Because they, boy, no sir. Hey, and you only say shame with you know. You shame with big time. Because you're out here and make it look like say, I see are the worst. And NIA are the worst. And only labor right out here cost Daniel Archer. Like say, she are the worst. Like she are the worst. And all she want is honesty. All she want, that girl want is honesty. But guess what? The UK see the honesty in them. Mm-hmm. The UK see the honesty in a them Jamaica. Uno no follow Anjo Oness. Anjo Oness a thief. Uno hear me? I just get in one get off of the case ya. I just get in one get off of the case ya. That's all. And you see this judicial review thing and some delaying thing them depan. Mm hmm. Anjo Oness does a kill some time. I just that really. I just that. But guess what? The people them in a other country are watch what I go on. Me always say it, you know. Them are watch. See? See? The UK are watch what I go on. Them are watch what I go on. Them see what is going on. And them know. <laughs> Boy, Andrew, he's a disgrace. Partnerships like these demonstrate our shared commitment to fostering good governance and building a brighter future for Jamaica, she added. Listen, and you honest no not about good governance. This is why I fight the IC. Number one, they, they, they not even sign the code of conduct, the leadership code of conduct. They not even sign it. So they no know nothing about good governance. You understand? Because signing that code of conduct, that is the start. That is the start of good governance. I want to Slater noted that the UK has been a steadfast supporter of Jamaica's anti-corruption effort, primarily through capacity building for government agencies tasked with investigating and prosecuting corruption. However, she said that civil society plays an equally critical role in raising public awareness, advocating reform and educating communities. Principal Director at NIA, Daniel Archer, said the agreement showcases the UK commitment to strengthening Jamaica. Democratic institutions, their extraordinary support for the national integrity action in advocating anti-bribery laws is encouraging. This is Daniel Archer speaking, you know. Such legislation would undoubtedly promote fairness and equality by curbing chronism and nepotism, enhance transparency in transactions and governance, and ensure proper resource allocation. Anti-bribery legislation will boost public trust and make Jamaica more attractive for investment and economic growth. It is vital for combating corruption in our society. The release Coates Archer. Friday agreement was signed by the UK development representative in Jamaica. Only hear that my wisdom warriors. All right. Me just a make know what go on, you know. Me just a make uno know what go on. You understand? So when Andrew Oldness I bring all of this to court for get rid of and struck out I see it was pointless, my wisdom warriors. Andrew Oldness should even have them something there in his thought. Him should never have these things in his mind. Remember, say him talk boy, him go get rid of corruption, you know. But him himself breed corruption, sleep corruption, talk corruption, eat corruption. This is why he wanted the judge to break the constitution, but the judge reject him. Mm-hmm. 
reject him backside and say, no, what you talk about? What you talk about, Andrew Owens? We can't stroke out section 14. You crazy, brother? We can't do that. We have to catch your teeth, them. Mm-hmm. We have to catch your teeth, them. So, we just make you know. Listen, you see, when you, you see the UK come and I give this money to the NIA and I go on with themselves, them I watch. Them know what I go on. My wisdom warriors, they know exactly what is happening. Mm-hmm. Boy, Jano. Jan, I hope Andrew Owens not get him hand upon the money, you know. I hope Andrew Owens not get him hand upon the money, you know. Daniel Archer, I beg you all. Don't let Andrew Owens get him hand upon this money, you yeah? <laughs> when it come to money, Lord Jesus, mm -mm. my wisdom warriors, wanna tell me what to think about this. I think this, I think, I think the UK giving NIA, you know, for help with anti-corruption in a Jamaica. I think it's a great idea. You can tell me what you think and put it in the comment section. Like up the video, share it out and subscribe to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome people. Run go over to my second channel, subscribe and get me to 5k. My channel name is PNP News Round. Alright, blessings upon blessings. One love.